Oh, your beast's the burden And my back is strong And my feet are hurting And I'll never, never, ever, never I'm a lifetime musician And this is Cigars, Booze, and Conversation with Dennis Conlon Thank you for having me, Daryl as Daryl said, I'm Dennis Conlon, blues harmonica player for uh, studying for over 30 years. And uh, I'd like to just uh, thank Daryl for having me at his beautiful home here. And uh, we're going to talk about some music for a few minutes. Oh, no problem. Do what you do. So uh, with that being said, how you been, Daryl? I've been good, man. What's up, uh, good to see you, good man. See you. I'm going to see you in a couple more weeks, right? We're going to play. We're going to do a gig. Uh, Tom and Jerry's in uh, Ridley Township off uh, the Blue Route 476, uh, McDade Boulevard. Uh, so stop on out. That will be on, uh, we're going uh, November 12th from 4 to 8. And we'll have Daryl on uh, sax with uh, my dear friends, uh, the Copa, Copa family, Patrick and David Copa. Oh, okay. And Paul Ramagano on drums. Oh, cool. We're going to have plenty of other musicians sitting in with us. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll get our musicians out. We'll have some fun. And uh, we're going to have some uh, plenty of food, plenty of drink, and uh, a lot of music playing for four hours. Let me ask you a question. All right, so tell the people who you are and where you came from and all this, you know, so you know exactly what's going on. All right, so uh, I, I might, like, I, like I said before, my name's Dennis Conlon. I uh, started playing harmonica back in 1984. Uh, my friend, the, the drummer who will be drumming with us uh, on November 12th, Paul Ramagana, was playing the drums, sat, uh, sat in with a blues band one time, and uh, I got the bite. Uh, I was for the longest time listening to uh, 80s music, high school kids listened to, yes, Genesis, Kansas, <laughs> things of that nature, you know, and then all of a sudden Paul got this gig uh, doing some blues stuff with some kids from Haverford College, well with that being said I was like, wow, there was a whole nother scene of, of music that I really didn't know about, you heard about but you didn't know about, and at that time the Blues Brothers were coming out things of that nature, the Blues Brothers movie, which is a big hit, uh, Saturday Night Live was having a lot of great music on with a lot of good blues, and it I just took me totally away from what I listened to growing up to, wow, here's this blues music. As I started going out to these bars and, and finding these great blues musicians, everybody was so good, I picked up the harmonica and they couldn't be any better, let me get on stage with them, let me play music with them. Uh, I shouldn't even been on stage many a times, you know, how, how green I was at the instrument. But blues musicians were very nice and said, come on, you're going to get up and you're going to play. So um, I did that and I just fell in love with it and studied and played and bought records and listened to it. And uh, you get to meet people like Daryl and, and, uh, and, and people like... Uh, Tommy Conwell and people like guys from the Jelly Roll, like Philadelphia bands that, that were just so nice and you would sit and hang out with them after shows and being a young man, you had nothing else to do but to hang out. Uh, with that being said, you keep blowing the harp, you keep learning and uh, it was all good. So you get to the point now where I'm doing gigs and it's so fortunate I have some of the best musicians in the Philadelphia area, if not to me, in the world with the Copa family, Ramagano on the backbeat, and Daryl coming out and doing all our gigs with this, playing sax with this is just an extra, extra hit on everything. I mean, when Daryl can't make a gig, I'm like sort of bummed out. We'll do a gig, but we try to work around Daryl because if Daryl's there, that gives me some time to think about, you know, what I'm going to do next. Gives it stretches things out. I love to hear things stretched out, the music stretched out, the people playing, the the solos, and it just makes everything much nicer. You know, With that Paul, being said, go ahead, Daryl. No, I was going to ask you. Uh, so, telling a young guy coming into the game, you know, coming into playing music, what should he do as far as you know, the harmonica? Like, I don't, I never, I try to play it, but I can't get into that, man. I just can't get into it. Well, I, I, I hear a lot of people say that they're harmonica players and this and that, and I say, beautiful, keep playing, or I want to play. I always tell them, there's some. I go in the music store quite often with my kids taking uh, uh, musical instrument lessons, things of that nature, and I'm always looking at the books. There's a ton of information out there. The Internet's a, a beautiful thing. 
I'm still learning. I mean, I have so, every time I turn on a record, I'm like, oh my God, how far. I was driving home from Maryland today, and uh, I'm a big Rod Piazza fan, and I heard Rod, California harmonic player, and I haven't heard Rod maybe in a year I put on a CD, and I was like, wow, this is great. I got this. And I thought to myself, wow, how good is this, and how good is this guy? It's beautiful. With that being said, I tell people all the time, buy records, listen to records, get a style that you like, you get a style you like, once you get the style you like, you start learning that style. One note at a time, ask questions, and you have to hang out. The biggest key to playing music, I think, is hanging out with great musicians. I've been on stage many a night at open stage nights with musicians that were average musicians, much better than me, but average musicians. And I would drive home saying, I don't feel I played that well. I go on open stage nights with some very good musicians. I say to myself, either either I played well or the band sounded well. I'm not quite sure, but I feel it's a type of thing like playing basketball. You get out on the court with some good players, you're going to play better. You play music, you hear guys up there grooving really well, it brings stuff out of your head. Yeah. They, they, yeah. You're like, oh my God, here's a riff. Daryl hits yeah. a riff sometime up on stage. I know that riff. I would have never thought of that riff until yeah. I heard it. And I said, I got something to roll off that, right, Daryl? Yeah. So, young people wanting to play, pick it up, play. Older people come to me all the time, pick it up, play. I want to learn how to play. The only thing I can tell you is keep it in your mouth and play. Just like anything else. Like I mentioned earlier, shooting a basketball to playing a saxophone, drums, you got to do it. It's repetition. My son's playing golf now, and I said, Paul, you got to go out and play a couple times a week. The only way you're going to hit that ball better is to play it. You know, so that's, if I can give any advice, you have to do it. And like I said, there's so many great players out there to listen to them. I want to thank you for coming out, man. You did a great job, brother. Thank you very I much. I appreciate it so much, man. Hey, this is Daryl Ray telling you about my new channel on YouTube. If you're looking for incredible, intriguing, and interesting new music content, then subscribe to the Daryl Ray channel. Here on this channel, our goal is to enlighten the viewer to some unique, soulful, and amazing music. Whether it's rock, pop, blues, or hip-hop, the Daryl Ray channel is just for you. Like and subscribe.